Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Joe Murphy, 123survive.com, home of the Combat Nation and the Integrated Martial Development Center here in Waltham, Massachusetts. Okay, guys, on my last video, <clears throat> what I did was I showed you guys how to make a primitive hand vise. All right? Those vices come in really handy. But <clears throat> today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to make a, a set of tongs, primitive tongs. Right? Right? And you can even just snap a branch. You can make primitive tongs pretty easy. Just by uh, breaking a couple of branches off and holding them, you could use it that way. All right? But uh, I'm going to show you how to make one in case you want to have more of a, a long-term stay. Let's say you set up a camp somewhere and you want to see, keep some tongs just hanging around the fire so you could pull rocks out and adjust logs and grab pots and things like that. Okay? So stick with me and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Okay, guys. Our tongs are going to be about this long. I cut a piece off at the end. All right? What I'm going to actually do is cut this and then I'll split it, all right? And at this end here, I'm going to make a spindle or some kind of um, a fulcrum so that when I use these two levers, it'll have something to to uh, to hold on to as it opens and closes, okay? Nice, easy cut. These little tools here, guys, a pretty, pretty nice. Okay, you can see how it works. Um, like I said, this one's called a a uh, water saw, but a few people make it, and it's really, really light. And if you're going to be out in the wilderness for, you know, longer than a week, um, those little um, Laplanders are really good, but these are really good too. So either one works good. Last time I used one of the hand chainsaws. It just depends on what I happen to have in my pack for that day, what I'm going to bring. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take my other piece right here, which is my front of my, the, my tongs, and uh, I'm going to split this down, okay? So stay with me. All right, guys, <clears throat> basically what I did was I took that piece and we split it, okay? You can see I just took it and I split it down the center here, all right? Um, I have an axe, but I didn't use the axe to split it. I actually used um, this knife because sometimes the axe, won't give it a nice even split. Axes are for great for splitting logs, but for smaller pieces, sometimes I just like to baton it with, with my knife here. Okay? <clears throat> so, we have these two pieces. We have this here, and we have this here. How it's going to work, guys, eventually, is that this is going to actually sit in the end here, and it'll be tied off, and we'll be able to use our tongs, okay, to pick things up. So I'm going to continue on. I'm going to shorten this out. I'm going to put another groove on the bottom, <clears throat> so I'm going to start tying this up. I'm going to make a small, um, some claws on the other end here, and um, we'll just keep going, okay? <clears throat> Here's our components. As you can see, we have a notch here, and we have a notch on both sides. <clears throat> we did that so when the tongs sit in here like this, they don't start separating like that. They stay right together. And when I tie cordage here, and around here, and around here, it'll hold the tongs secure. So, when they sit, when it sits inside it, like this, it'll be nice and secure at this end. See how it makes a T? So when the cordage is here, wrapped around on both sides and here, it'll have a nice solid grip like this, so that when I want to warp the tongs in a fire out here like this, I got plenty of room to do it. Okay? So what I'm going to do now, guys, <clears throat> I don't know if you remember this from one of my past videos. This is just some cordage that we made from milkweed. Okay, so I'm just going to use this cordage to tie this in. And I'm going to make a couple of um, claws on both ends. I'm just going to cut through just a couple of places so that it has something to bite on when I'm picking stuff up. Okay, guys, be right with you. Something else that comes in real handy, guys, <clears throat> I always keep in my, my long-term pack is a small little chisel. When you're working on stuff like this, it makes it so much easier to just notch pieces out. Okay? I'm just going to notch my, my pieces right out of this to make a nice, clean cloth. See how that works? 
So these little chisels, something to keep in your pack, okay? They're light, they don't weigh that much, and uh, when you really need it, they come in handy. So I'm going to keep on notching this one out. I'm going to notch out my second one wherever I put it, right here, and um, get right back to you. Um, this is the result. <coughs> Got your grooves here so that you have claws so you can pick things up. Okay? Tied off with cordage on the back. I didn't cut these loops off, guys. <coughs> these tags. Only because I might want to hang that somewhere in one of my shelters. So I left the tags kind of open and made like a, a loop here. Okay, this is where our spindle was, so that we have levers, and you can see that these tongs, are pretty strong, that's a good sized log right here, alright, this is a bigger log, right here, okay, and rock. It's a good sized boulder. So these, that's a good view. Of what it looks like. Okay guys, that's it. That's the uh, how to make some primitive tongs. Very simple. If you're going to be spending some time around uh, your camp and it's going to be uh, more of a, an extended stay, this is how you do it. Okay, my name's Joe Matthew, 123survive.com, home of the Combat Nation and the Integrated Martial Development Center. We'll catch you next time.